Change, as usual, was drinking hot chocolate with his breakfast. In the morning, he went to check his mailbox, and there was a very strange letter. When he opened it, it said, "Dear Mr. Change Abel, we are grateful to accept you to Icewood School of Icecraft and Icery." Changeable by Marcella or Yeji Sim. This、uh, is inspired by Harry Potter. There will be a few characters that are same as Harry Potter, like Ron or Hermione, and Professor McGonagall. It has been over a year since Change attended Icewards. He is in Transfigurations class right now, so let's go take a look at him. Look, Professor McGonagall. I think she's saying something to kids. Let's go closer to hear her. Who can show the ice transformation? Ah, Mr. Abel, come on up. Yes, ma'am. I see you. Good. Now please demonstrate the next form. I see you. Take a look at that. He's invisible. Mr. Abel, you did a very good job demonstrating. Now, could you please come back to your original form using the counter spell? Of course, ma'am. I can do it. I see a repairo. I see a repairo. Now, Mr. Abel, if you could just explain how this happens, it will be perfect. You learned it in Muggle studies. Uh, uh, um. Does anyone know, Professor? P- professor? Professor? Yes, Miss Granger. Tell me. So this is basics in the Muggle world. To explain, I'll have to tell you about solids first. Solids are tightly packed with molecules, so they can only vibrate in their place. The distance between molecules are called the intermolecular distance, but when you add energy, it is likely that the molecules will move more, pushing each other, and they, that makes the intermolecular distance increase, changing solid into liquid. This phase change is called melting. Very good. Go on. Yes, professor. Same. It's same for liquid to gas. In evaporation, you add energy, and by the time the phase changes, you'll notice that the gas molecules are free, and they can float around with a lot of space. So that's why air is everywhere and it's spread out. Correct, Hermione. Go on. Yes, Professor. Now comes condensation. Let's go back. If we were adding energy, then we'll have to subtract this time. If you take away energy, the molecules will stiffen and move less. You know when you put a lot of ice in cold water, and you can see water droplets appearing out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I've seen it. So that's condensation. Yes. Now you get it. It's same for solidification too. How about change explaining this time? Hmm. Oh, so it's the same, taking out energy and the molecules stiffening. It's just that the form is different. Wait, I have a question. I get that you're talking about melting, evaporating, and condensation, but when, or to be exact, at what temperature does melting, freezing, and condensation happen? Okay, that's easy. Freezing happens at zero degrees Celsius or less, and as you could probably assume. Melting happens from zero degrees Celsius and on. This is called a freezing point and a melting point. By the way, condensation happens at the boiling point, which is hundred degrees Celsius. Very well, good job. Do you understand that it is important not only to learn magic, but also the reason and explanation, and of course the science too? Cool. Now I should start learning about science.